Hey, 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 welcome to another Money Today. And I know it has been forever, forever in a week. Uh, but you know, I, I was just, I as I say on the Discord, you can go and join that. It's in the description. Um, I, I wasn't going to come back until I had something to say. I mean, the whole crypto blockchain space has been, it's been kind of weird. And kind of hard to wrap your head around. So I keep up on the news now and again, but I, you know, I was waiting for the right time. And I find it very interesting that uh, Dar- uh, what Darren Moore and uh, King Solomon are both, uh, you know, coming back, or at least King Solomon's talking about coming back. And that's right before Bitcoin took off. I mean, we're all kind of going, hmm. For there's something to pay attention to here. And for me, kind of what got me paying attention. Again, go join the Discord. Lots of great uh, discussions going on there. But what got me back thinking about this was OpenAI and Larry Summers being one of like three people on the board. I mean, that just like made me think there's something going on here. And we've talked about Larry Summers many times. If you don't know who Larry Summers is, please. I mean, you could even start with Wikipedia, even though a lot of Wikipedia is bullshit. You could start there because there's enough here to make you understand this guy is not just some economist. I mean, it's so ridiculous. You know, if you want to see somebody, what what they're trying to hide, you just go to CNN and you say, what is their headline? Who They're trying to bury this. Now, the first headline that I saw from CNN, former Clinton staffer, and I almost fell off my chair laughing because it's like, oh, they're going to downplay Larry Summers for being just a former Clinton staffer. But here, if you look at theirs, it just says economist Larry Summers. (laughs) And the reason that's so laughable, well, I guess you can go and learn more about that and you'll understand. You can also watch my past videos talking about Larry Summers and in the crypto space. So that kind of got me thinking, you know, I should probably make a video dedicated just to that. And I probably should, but I figured I'd at least get my juices flowing again, come back and talk to everybody and get some feedback. You know, I'm here at a maker space. I actually, I make things. So I do, I love lasers. I make laser stuff. And so this is one of my creations, just whatever's handy right here. But So if you're wondering why I'm in this crazy cubicle, it's because I'm making things. I just find it really nice to work with your hands, but it's also nice to work with your brain. And so if you go to the Money Today Show on X, I kind of just repost what I think is important. And in in the end, you see that it all just connects. It's all one thing, as I say all the time. And I don't know what's going to happen, but I know it was planned. And part of that plan, of course, Jim Breyer, definitely into that, who is Circle. And uh, Jeremy Allaire, his henchman here, says uh, Circle launches open source protocols to address on-chain theft and risks of illicit finance. Basically, you want the real TLDR. What they're saying is, is, well, we're going to make it to where if we don't like what happened in this transaction, we can go in and take that money back. And we see how that's worked for, say, Swift or other things, credit card companies. The reason why crypto was, you know, here is because you can't do that. But of course, this has been telegraphed for a long time. It's just a way to get everybody on the chain. So here's where I was talking about where, uh, was it Benjamin Moore? I can't remember. Um, and, uh, King Solomon talking about getting back going again. So that should be interesting. Always paying attention to the chamber of digital commerce. We're going to talk about them a couple times here. They seem to be, uh, lobbying for kind of the same thing that Jeremy Allaire is talking about, you know, illicit finance and being able to probably take that money back. And then, of course, R3 and Hyperledger, two things that we talk about all the time. If you're new to this channel, you really need to know Hyperledger is IBM, which is the Linux Foundation. So if you go to Linux Foundation and you look up who are the members, the key members of the Linux Foundation, it's IBM, but 
you know, it's worldwide companies. This isn't like America or something like this. This is worldwide companies. And R3 was created by the banks. So you got the banks and the worldwide companies. If you read it that way, it's way better and way easier to understand. And they're talking about, uh, uh, you know, interoperability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Harmonia. So, so, so probably something you should pay attention to. Here's the Chamber of Digital Commerce again, uh, talking about counteract illicit financial activities. Uh, you know, I read between the lines every time I, I see those words together <laughs> because how many things that actually have affected us started out as things that are supposedly to counteract illicit financial activities. And the Chamber of Digital Commerce, of course, is the World Economic Forum. It's, it's a lot of, it might as well be the UN, right? It is nice to see Oasis still posting, still working on things for all you Rose fans out there. Uh, a lot of other cryptos have gone by the wayside, many that we've even talked about a lot. But Rose still around, Chainlink, of course, still making major news. Uh, Algorand. Now, you know, Algorand's still my biggest bag because I ain't selling nothing. You know, if, if my my cryptos go to zero, they go to zero. If they go to billions, they go to millions, whatever. I've kind of done my research and, you know, uh, planted my flags, as it were. Uh, but medical cannabis now on chain, supply chain traceability pl platform. What struck me here is like, you know, of all this time that we've gone through and all of this money, you know, millions and <laughs> billions of dollars and, uh, this is news. <laughs> Come on, let's give us something a little more than that. Uh, the banks say that the ECB has entered its preparation phase for the digital euro. Maybe something to look at there. Okay, and here we have the bank saying the tokenization of everything is already happening and will only continue to grow. Again, that's coming from the banks. And as I always tell you, the standards are everything. If you control the standards, you control everything below it. So Google, Visa, Accenture, and others in global, uh, joins Algorand, <laughs> global project to drive innovation and standards for digital wallets and payments. Therefore, we make the standards. If you're not part of us, then you're not going to actually be able to be a wallet. And everything that we don't make as a standard will now be illegal or you can't use it or it's not interoperable. You understand why standards mean so much. The United Nations food program, uh, wasn't Bill Gates working with that? Uh, Global Blockchain Business Council, so World Economic Forum, the UN, have signed a memorandum of understanding as founding partners that's all I need to say. So again, I encourage everybody to go in and learn about uh, Larry Summers. Put a, you know, let me know the things that you didn't know about Larry Summers. Uh, add a comment down below and just say, oh, wow, I didn't know he was part of this or part of that or did that. You know, there's going to be quite a few. And when you add it all up and you see that he was one of the few people put on the board after whatever the heck happened, uh, I think it'll make a little bit more to sense to you uh, to what happens after. And I'm not saying that's a good thing. I'm not saying it means open AI is going to become bigger. It might actually implode and then become something else. I don't know. But when this guy is involved, something's going to happen. So I'm going to leave it there for today, just kind of getting, you know, back into this. It feels kind of weird, to be real. But uh, I appreciate everybody here, and uh, I'm looking forward to hearing the comments and stuff. Like, you know, what is it that I'm not seeing right now that I should be looking into? And uh, you can also put it on the Discord, which the link is down below as well. And I will see you all soon. All right. Love y'all.